Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's uh, TA because uh, Bitcoin currently came up again towards $9,800 and we are seeing a little uh, rejection here at again the same price point that we had also here in the past as a big resistance here at around $9,800. So the big question is now, are we finally able to break this resistance or not? Currently, we are seeing another pullback here. And uh, in this uh, pullback, we already met our target here because we broke out to the downside. We came towards uh, 9,680. And currently, we have to see if we are able to come back up here and retest the main resistance. Or are we continuing here to drop towards our main bearish target, at least here for the lower time frames here, to retest the $9,100 level? I still have my long positioned here down at $9,100 in case that we come down here and have a big bounce from it but in case that we're gonna break down from it so if we lose this $9,100 support we are potentially in for a bigger sell-off and uh, so far uh, we have to wait also for the stock markets to open uh, Europe and Asia doesn't look too bad today let's wait also till the S&P is gonna open again so far the futures are seeing a quite stable price we are bouncing from the 20 moving average in the one hour so that is already a good sign and uh, we just have to wait till the market is gonna open up here in the US but uh, depending how the market is gonna open, I think if we continue to push in the stock market, I think also most likely in Bitcoin, we're gonna see some further upside movements, potentially also to test here the main resistance of 10,300 up to 10,500 dollars. So we are still in this upwards moving channel here with a support of around 9,100 dollar and a resistance here between 10,300 to 10,500 dollar. And uh, yesterday we dropped down here. If you watch my yesterday's video, I was telling you that most likely gonna open a long position to ride it up to 9,800 because there was also where the CM is closed and we didn't create a new gap because yesterday before the CM is opened again, we came back up to this uh, price level. So we didn't create a new future gap. So uh, right now we don't have any future gap around here. So no fresh one. All the old ones that we still have are some below of us, some above of us but very tiny ones, very, very small ones. And that's why right now I'm not trading this 9,800 pump anymore because it's already happened. And now we have to see what is coming in next. But I still more into bullish than bearish. So here in the one hour, you can see that the RSI is right at the 50 and the stochastic is coming down here into neutral territory. In theory, we should see a bounce from it. If we're gonna lose here the 50 level in the RSI, we might go down here to test finally here this $9,100 area and potentially bounce from it. And if we go over to the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that currently we're trading right in the middle area and this MACD could have here a bearish cross if, you, if we continue to trade here to the downside. And if we're gonna break here this 9,660 to the downside and also have this uh, confirmation that we have here a bearish cross in the MACD, we could drop down here towards 9,400 first and then potentially also towards $9,100. So currently it is still looking like we're getting rejected here at $9,800, at least here in the lower time frames. Now here, if you go over to the four hour, you can see that currently we are bouncing from the 20 moving average in the four hour. This is the most important moving average in my opinion for the midterm and the short term trades. And here also you can see that we are in a very critical point because we, if we're gonna close here below the 20 moving average in the four hour, we could be definitely heading down towards again here the 200 moving average at 9,400 and potentially also down here towards the main support of $9,100. Especially if we're gonna lose here the 50 level in the RSI and you can see that the stochastic is overbought. So also here it is possible that we have to cool off here the stochastic a bit. So that means in the next couple of hours, we could see here a possible retest of this 9,400, possibly even down here to $9,100. 
and if we open up the Bollinger Band here you can see that currently we are right in the middle area and if we drop from here we could easily go towards $9,500 also here. MACD is still flat here, let's see what will happen with the next uh, move of uh, Bitcoin because I think we could be in for a bigger move but it is also possible that we're just gonna start to trade sideways here a bit in this channel here before we're gonna see a, a big uh, spike here to the upside or to the downside. On the daily time frame, you can see that the RSI is completely flat, lining up with the 50 level in the RSI. Stochastic is also a neutral area right in the middle, and we're trading just next to the 20 daily moving average. So I think here we are coming to an end here where we have to decide if we can break here to the upside towards 10,000 again, or are we continuing to trade along the 20 daily moving average and possibly also close below and start the dump here. This is also what we have to see and that's why I think we will come to an end here pretty soon and we're gonna see here a big move to the upside or to the downside coming. And uh, yeah, we can go also over to the Bollinger Band in the daily because also here you can see that if we're gonna lose here this area here of 9700 the next target would be down here at 9400 like we had yesterday and if we don't bounce from it we could easily drop down here towards 8700 in theory based here on the Bollinger Band in the daily and I think if we will drop that low so below 9k then it is almost guaranteed that we will also going towards 8k and possibly even lower in that case but so far we should be still safe to go to the upside here towards this ten thousand dollar resistance and if we open up the weekly time frame here you can see that also we are trading away above the 20 and 50 weekly moving average so we are still very bullish we are shifted to the upside and the main resistance up here is really the last step before a big run to the upside and I think as soon as we're gonna break here this $10,300 to $10,500 and start to build up a sustainable support above and possible also test $14,000, $16,000 nothing can stop anymore Bitcoin and that's why you should be ready for the moon but also be ready in case that we're gonna see maybe one final drop here towards uh, the 6,000 area and then have a big bounce and a potential break here of the main resistance. Also the RSI is still above the 50, stochastic is overbought, this is still a bit concerning, but the RSI is still above the 50 and that is very, very important that we are not gonna drop again below the 50 in the RSI. That is really essential for the next big run to the upside and also a potential break of this main resistance here. And if we go to the Bollinger Band in the weekly also here, still very bullish. This is in my opinion the most bullish time frame and also chart because we have the MACD shifted to the upside. We are trading in the upper area on the Bollinger Band and we have a lot of room to the downside here towards $8,000 but also to the upside towards $11,400. And that means that we can stay in this region here and still be on the bullish side. And this is really bullish for the long term or for Bitcoin. If here we would be trading in the lower part, the MACD shifted to the downside, that would be very bearish in my opinion because in the long term we could see some further big drops. But based here on this chart, it's still looking very, very bullish for Bitcoin, even though we could see for the lower time frame still a dump. And remember that if you want to take advantage of these big swings to the upside but also to the downside and take advantage of both directions, you can do that here over on Bybit. And currently if you sign up with my sign up link here on Bybit or you're already a member that you already signed up with my link, you can get an additional $100 bonus completely for free. You just have to put a deposit of 0.2 Bitcoin within the next two weeks. So until the 20th of June latest you have to put a deposit and extra deposit of 0.2 Bitcoin you don't have to trade with it just put a deposit and automatically latest after three days you will get it completely for free $100 into your account and this is only exclusive if you use my sign up links that you find down below here in the video description for Bybit $90 you anyway can claim here for free that is the rewards hub from Bybit when you use my sign up link but until the 20th of June 
I have this uh, extra $100 bonus that Bybit is giving to you if you put out a 0.2 Bitcoin deposit. And if you need more accounts, if you need also other exchanges where you can also open up multiple accounts to trade, so you can go, for example, on Bybit Long and on Femex Short, for example, you find also the other links uh, how to open up an account and also to claim a sign up bonus if you use my links as well. And uh, don't forget to join the Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free. Everyone is welcome. Shout out to all the people in Discord. You're really great. We have a really nice community, nice trading signals, nice discussions. Make sure to join our free Discord trading chat. And also I'm doing the live streams over on uh, Twitch. So make sure also to join the Twitch channel and subscribe to it. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, you know what to do. Make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And we see us all in the next one. Bye.